Okay, we're picking up the pace here and going with question six, one through five, or periodic table part one. Check out question six. General trends in first ionization energy and electronegativity values are demonstrated by group 15 elements as they are considered in order from top to bottom. Well, we saw a similar question with the first set in question four. Sure enough, it's showing up again. But now we're dealing with ionization energy and electronegativity. All right, so we go to 15. Pick three elements in group 15. Nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic. Now we want to know what's going on with electronegativity and first ionization energy. All right, let's go back to reference table S. Where is nitrogen? Where are you? We have nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic. And we want to just see what the trend is. Nitrogen, we're starting electronegativity is here, first ionization energy. So I'm just circling them, and you should do the same, especially on the regions. Mark up that table. Let's lay, look and see what's happening first with first ionization energy. It's decreasing, and same thing with electronegativity. So they're both decreasing, and since they're both decreasing, I'm going to go with choice one. Let's move on. Question seven, which group on the periodic table has elements with atoms that tend not to bond with other atoms? Well, you know noble gases are called noble because they really don't want to bond with anything, and they are in group 18. Here they are. And, of course, that's just the fact that no, it's the noble gases, which is choice four. Question eight, which group on the periodic table has the, has, I'm sorry, has at least one element in each of the three phases of matter? Another question that comes up a lot. That would be the halogens. Halogens, of course, are in group 17. Here they are. Let me just erase this so we can see it. Information you have to know. Fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine is the only liquid nonmetal. Iodine is a solid. Sure enough, all three phases are represented, and that makes this choice three. Number nine, rubidi sorry, rubidium and cesium have similar chemical properties because in the ground state, both of these atoms. Well, typical New York State region's fashion, rubidium and cesium, I need to find those on the table. If you do not know what symbols they are, you need to find them on reference table S. They are RB and CS. They're here. Again, if you don't know the symbols, take the time to look. They're in group one. So sure enough, they both have one electron in the outermost shell because they are alkali metals. If you didn't know that fact, look at their electron configurations. All right, they're all dash one. Number 10, which property decreases when the elements in group 17 are considered in order of increasing atomic number. All right, so we got to watch the wording here. Which property decreases when group 17 are considered in order of increasing atomic number? So we're dealing with group 17. Here they are. Those are those halogens again, right here. Increasing atomic number means we're going down, and we're looking at properties. What do we want here? Atomic mass, atomic radius, melting point, and electronegativity. So we're looking at what's decreasing. Well, the masses, as I go down, are here, and they are increasing. So that definitely cannot be an answer. That's the wrong choice. So we're looking at atomic radius, melting point, and electronegativity. They are on reference table S. So now, what do I have to do? I need to erase these. And let's look up the first three halogens. We have fluorine, then there's chlorine, and where are you, bromine? Okay, so let me also get rid of this. So let's see. Atomic radius is here. Atomic radius for fluorine is 60 p uh, picometers. Chlorine is 100. Bromine is 117. It's increasing, but we want decreasing, so that's not going to work. Next thing is melting point which is here, fluorine 53, chlorine 172, and bromine 266. They're increasing, and it's asking for decreases. Can't be it. So let's check out electronegativity. Fluorine 4, chlorine 3.2, bromine 3.0. There's my answer. 
I know fluorine is the most electronegative, but I did want to go through it so you guys could see it, and it's choice four. Last question at STP, which substance is a noble gas? Just be careful. Again, they did not give you the symbols. You know noble gases are here, group 18. So I'm looking for one of these as being the choices, any of these in this column, right? And it turns out that the answer is choice 3 or neon. Look up the names if you need to from the symbols so that you don't make any mistakes. Keep working hard and good luck.